Hello Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome to your Avalon Rituals reading for May 2021. My name is Julia. Thank you for tuning in. This is a Lenormand reading and the Lenormand comes from France. So it's mostly known in France and Germany. And I'm ha very happy to bring this method now to you guys. Um, you can have a look into every area of life and what I want to do is now let spirit guide me to see what messages are the most important ones obviously though um, I'm going to have more of focus on the cards that are around you and possibly love and work and uh, the things that just really pop out uh, very strongly. So uh, you are in this deck as well, you as a Gemini. Keep in mind this is a general reading so it may not resonate for all of you guys but also uh, check out your other placements. As I've said, someone rising Venus so maybe the messages for your love life are more resonating for you when you look at your Venus or Moon sign. You are this lady here, no matter of your gender, this is you, Gemini. And this is a, another person, no matter of their gender. So this could be a friend, could be a friend, could be a lover, a love interest, a past lover. Uh, let's see where this is uh, leading us. Uh, I want to start with your card first. I do see there is another person that is very close to you. Um, but also when I look at the first cards that come to mind here, because I can knight, do the knighting and then I do get the person, a withdrawal and we do get also the loss energy here. That is in your further environment. Still very close to you but further environment. Uh, I also do see that uh, there has, oh yeah, wow, oh. Uh, the okay there is the coffin and the um, the tower so both talk about ending separation withdrawal setting boundaries we do get a confusing energy with this person here um, and the confusion is in the house of the fox so there is some sort of sneaky energy maybe a sneaky energy that this person tries to hide in a way I do get a little bit of this energy of um, hiding something or at least maybe even not consciously maybe subconsciously but there's something not really clear with this person we do have the key here so that's a solution a solution with this person related to th something that wasn't clear um, also this key refers to the ending where another woman could have been involved if that is not another woman that has influenced the situation because a snake can stand for manipulation in one way or the other and the snake in general could stand for a woman a mother um, a friend a sister uh, another woman um, then this is at least the card of difficulties so they have if not another woman manipulating or playing a part in this situation, in this ending and withdrawal, at least I would say there have has been uh, there have been some difficulties leading to this situation here. Um, on this person person's mind, we do have the let's see the the book. We do have the communication. could be some facts some facts uh, about the situation um, but also this is the energy of the closed book in some um, Lenormand's you have the um, the book open and in this one it seems like a book is closed like an ending of a story communicating the ending of a story but after this story there comes peace and harmony because that's the energy of the lilies it's a peace energy but also this peace is in the in the cloud so communicating the end of a story bringing peace to this situation harmony maturity could be a family situation that plays a part but again this energy of the lilies is in the confusion energy because that's in the house of the clouds Oh, oh wow and also I can see here there is a decision in this house of this person this decision decision leading to separation withdrawal I do get the energy of 
there is something healing and trans like there is something related to this person because we have solution transformation deep transformation maybe this person was involved in you healing some sort of aspect i do get that this person was a key for you a key for some sort of awakening and transformation that has been to be honest with the number eight is the if you look at the astrology the eighth house um, eighth house is the house of deep transformation death rebirth energy pluto energy so i get this here definitely with this person also the snake can stand for shedding the skin growing out of something so this change this solution has been quite i'd say intense in the house of the of the uh of the the coffin we do have on the top here the cross so a destined ending uh, ending a karmic ending or an ending that is like a, a burden here but you are also it, it feels like you are more focused now on the growth that has happened the maturity you have gained you yourself are either focused on the other woman if that is another woman or you are now shedding yours that's that's what I just said, right? That's very interesting. Because you are in the house of the shedding the skin, of the awakening, the awakening to... I always hear Kundalini energy. Like, I do feel like possibly there is a lot of energy rising up and down your energy system, your spine, in, in the month of May. And I do feel like something is here opening up for you. It seems like there is an opening, but this opening went through this person and this deep, challenging number eight coffin energy um so the fish can talk about abundance being in the house of the star an abundance of clarity an abundance of success coming in an abundance of spiritual development an abundance of spiritual energy coming in here there might be a journey, maybe something's a bit unclear here related to a journey and finances maybe, that could be something. Unclear journey. Could, this journey can be an inwards journey or an outside journey. So that could be something here. Mm, unclarity about some sort of journey or unclarity related to something in a foreign country that might be related to emotions as well because the fish can ta talk about emotions. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, you are mirrored onto the uh, most amazing cards ever. The sun is the best card in the whole deck, signifying uh, long-term happiness and success. To be mirrored onto this already is great, but you are also mirrored onto the star. Again, there's a lot of success energy coming in, a lot of destiny, success, clearing, healing energy. And what is being cleared? And, and do feel like there's something... <laughs> the fox fox is the, the dodgy energy of sneakiness, of um, could be betrayal, could be deceit, uh, maybe some sort of illusion. But this is clearing up for you strongly. And interestingly, this is also in the house of the book, which is something the other person is thinking about. The facts, the facts related to dishonesty, mm, illusion, deceit. But this seems to really strongly clear. In your house is the anchor. Now the anchor could stand for you focusing on your own stability, your inner stability and security also the anchor is the card for work so maybe you are really focusing on work and since we do have in the house of work the ring and the ring also next to it there might be partnerships coming in work related partnerships you might wait no there could be private partnerships here in your immediate environment there is a decision in work in your work life that is going to be a very 
good one, a happy one, a lucky one could refer in some way to Jupiter. So if you have some sort of Jupiter constellation, uh, I don't know what's going on in the stars at the moment, but um, if there's something, there might be something related to Jupiter and your work life. At least if this is not, if you're not, um, if you're not into astrology, then I'd say this is something related to luck and uh, divinely guided uh, situations in your work life and the decision we have here as well. So interestingly, there is this row that is also connected to not only this person here, but also to your work life. So either again another woman being a part of a deep transformation here for you which is interesting because now we have uh we have uh, pluto uh, so yeah yeah pluto and uh, jupiter here i don't know why i'm talking so much astrology right now it's just coming in uh, and the, the stars i mean the stars are close um Decision, decision about a withdrawal or independence, um, especially with this combination, there might be something where you want to be self-employed, have very beneficial partnerships here, uh, inspired action, this action, there's some sort of action movement um, related to your work life that is also destined, related to a partnership here, something might really move forward with a specific partnership. When it, There's something um, also with communication, so communication uh, in one way or the other, um, communicating changes, communicating, yeah, changes, we do have them here, communicating changes, Oh my god, this is literally what this is about because the changes are in the house of communication. Again, communicating changes, saying it again, uh, or and or communication, uh, something related to your work life, but also you going through a deep transformation here. I mean, literally, this could be a father figure, right? So th this could be a father figure, it could be a friend, um, it could be a woman, so just turn it around this both could be the same energy or that you know because i said this is a woman or could be a woman uh it could be that this is a friend of yours where you have a deep transformation here um and i get this solution energy okay work we were at the work energy but also i feel like there. I said already the things that were important for the work energy. So let me see what else. Dup, dup. Well, the cards that we have here are very nice because there is a new beginning, a very positive new beginning. There could be new luck, new happiness, new success coming in. Success could be both here because this is also related to... Um, the moon can be different things. If this is about work, then there's new success and being recognized at work or in your work life. If this is about work, it could be, be uh, working with women, working uh, intuitively or with your psychic abilities. And there again, we do have this communication aspect. So I do get communication for you. And of course, if this is a private matter, then we do have um, a new, then it could be also healing the inner child, um, some sort of healing with the sun. And look, this is 13313, just saying. Uh, so we have the, yeah, 13313. Oh, um, let's have a look around the heart. Wow. Okay, so the it might be that there's a sudden solution when it comes to something that gives you joy or love. It might be that you are working through lack mentality when it comes to love and or joy. But then again, the, there is a key. There is some sort of key moment. Um, also, beautiful, we have the sun card here. So what I said earlier basically just two minutes ago <laughs> uh, we do have happiness and success something is clearing i feel like something is clearing emotionally again i'd say you it's your month of communication <laughs> there's a lot of communication going on um i do see strong growth when it comes to your love life which again could be the love that you have for yourself it could be self-love it could be 
Oh, wow. There isn't a conflict related to your love life or your emotional life, but this is clearing because we do have the, the, um, the key here and in the house of the key that would indicate the solution is the conflict. So there is a conflict clearing twice. And also this deep transformation. In this sense, I do literally feel this is a growing energy strength, inner strength. Maybe someone is helping you here growing growth and from this growth the transformation happens because you are too small for your little skin here so uh, too big too large right yeah that's the way <laughs> too small yeah i do want to see a few more cards what did i just say oh my god my brain is completely just went i don't know where my brain went I do want to see a few more cards, that's what I said, right? And I want to see what are the additional messages here for Gemini, Summer, Rising, Venus. The Emperor! Mm -hmm. Okay, so the Emperor is a very important person uh, that could have been this person here. Uh, someone who gives a lot of stability and strength. Um, it could indicate a specific person in your life. It could indicate a father figure. Or it can indicate that these are now the qualities that you are embodying more. And that would mean protection, um, structure, organizing things, making a plan. So it might be a healing of masculine energies for you. Or we see a situation where another person is involved that has a strong influence. Oh, wow. And you are the Queen of the Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords, if you put it here, we already see that the Queen of Swords is turning the back to this person. And also, this person is not really, I mean, still looking on to this person. <laughs> the, as you can see, just how the, just how the uh, images are on these pictures, sorry, my mind again. So it feels like you get clarity. Something is clearing up. I said this earlier, but I feel like the energy here with the Queen of Swords, something is clearing up. Um, and it might be that you're gonna say no to something, set boundaries. That's a very authentic, a very strong person and woman. I feel like you're turning your back on a situation because you know your worth now. And especially the Queen of Swords does not... Um, how do you say this in, in... I'm just missing the words in English. Um, if someone disrespects her, she's gonna cut the person off. She has freed herself from the shackles of the past, everything that was holding her back, everything that was holding her down, she has let go of. And so I do see this as both. I do see this as, first of all, your energy. You're working with your inner masculine. But also it might be that you're turning away and saying no to someone. Maybe you're not saying no in a, in a physical way. Maybe you're just literally like letting something go here. Ah, and there you are working on something. I told you, you're working on something here. Um, okay, so I do feel like you are focusing now on building, on building the new, may it be inner stability, outer stability, same thing I said already here. And um, either with gaining the energies of your inner masculine, of really having structure and being like putting down a plan and working through the plan and having these energies now, being very clear, very decisive, being like discerning, that's a discerning energy. What is it that you want to put your energy into now? Because the Eight of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles are talking about that something you want to achieve still needs more energy of you. That could be energy if it is in a love relationship. It could be love and nurturing something. That could be if this is your project. Maybe you need more love and nurturing something. This card says you 
are going to put in whatever it takes to achieve your goal. And that's beautiful because that's also something that we started here with. I know we get like two messages here because this could be a person and this could be you, but it could also be your own energy. So we have two messages here. And um, but also with this being you, I feel like you are working on it, organizing, struct uh, structuring, making a plan, working on it, doing whatever it takes, whatever it needs from you. All right, Gemini, I hope you resonate with the reading. If so, leave a like or a comment or subscribe to the channel. Activate the bell so you're going to be up to date with new videos that I upload. Hope you um, have a blessed day, make good choices and see you soon.